Now Sony Pictures did provide me with a streaming link for the trailer to review for you guys. This movie was about two and a half hours long. Uh, I feel like it was a little long, honestly, and it's about uh, these drug dealers in uh, Italy, I think it was. Uh, it is in uh, Italian, so it <laughs> so it will have to be subtitled. But so it follows this guy, and I can't remember his name, guys. They're they're all Italian names, so I, not names I'm familiar with. Um, but he uh, decides that he wants to get out of the drug business, and he leaves and go to goes to Brazil. But his family doesn't go with him, or his kids don't go with him. And um, at first, I thought it was like kind of like this big drug war going on. But I guess one of the guys involved decides to have a bunch of the people assassinated, and he's like so upset with them. He's like kill their whole families and everything. And so I'm. Um, it's not funny, but <laughs> uh, but so um, that that guy's kids end up getting killed or some of his kids end up getting killed and um he ends up getting caught uh by the authorities and he becomes a informant or a or just a witness against the organized crime and they call it the mob and he said well there's there's no mob it's the costa nostra and they're not even that anymore because they used to have honor and now they don't have honor and he uses this as kind of an excuse to turn them in because they're they're not men of honor anymore and i mean they killed his kids too so obviously he's pretty upset about that and you know he, he's kind of working out a deal for himself uh and, and the beginning i really thought a lot of that was really interesting um you know about the drug dealers and they kind of like i said i thought it was like this little war i didn't realize that it was just this one guy who was getting all these people killed but then they go to the trial, and it's <laughs> very different than we, what we would see here. Um, this takes place, I believe it was the, in, the, in the 70s, but a uh, very different kind of trial. Like, all these guys are in the back of the courtroom in their little cells, and then they have, like, all these, like, lawyers, I guess. And, um, and they're, like, all on trial at the same time. It's really weird. I don't know if it's just because he's testifying against all of them or, or what the deal is with that. But to me, they focus way too much on the trial. Uh, it's really kind of hectic and and not super interesting, you know. I would have liked it more if it was a shorter part of the movie. And when you're talking about a two and a half hour movie, maybe you just shorten up the whole courtroom part. And then it goes to a, a little bit later and uh, some of these guys are attacking people and he ends up going back to court. And, you know, a lot of that part to me seems to superfluous to the story except for that it is based on a true story so they were trying to cover all these events but to me it just spent a little too much time in the courtroom although i did find this to be a very well acted movie and i really enjoyed it and they they really they really nailed kind of the feeling i think of the time and to me like i thought this was an older movie like it didn't seem like it would be a current movie but um i believe it uh, was just recently made <laughs> But like I said, guys, I enjoyed this one quite a bit. I gave it a 3 out of 5. 